Okay, differences between firms. So there's a lot of firms out there. Major ones um, that are kind of huge and have 50 or 100 offices um, versus boutique ones that are maybe just as good but only have two or three offices. So an example there of a boutique one might be Parthenon Group. Um, premium ones versus followers. So premium ones traditionally, Bain, McKinsey, and BCG versus uh, versus other ones. Um, and then broad versus specialized. So some so some firms specialize in specific industries. Let's say ZS Associates uh, specializes mostly in healthcare. So think about what's going to work for you. Uh, don't just assume that you know the firm you've heard of is the one that's right for you. Uh, think about what it is that, um, you know, if you want to specialize in a particular field or if you're particularly well qualified for a particular industry vertical, then consider the firms in that vertical as well as the, as well as the major firms. Uh, generally, people, if they can get an offer at one of the uh, most premium firms, will take it over an offer from one of the less premium firms, and I would say that that's likely a good decision. Each firm does it have its own culture, so the way it looks at itself, um, but also some very sort of tangible things like how much travel there is. For example, uh, Bain has more of a regional staffing model uh, where if you're working in Bain's um, New York office, then you will likely be mostly staffed on cases uh, on the East Coast. If you're working in Bain's San Francisco office, you'll likely be staffed two cases uh, on the West Coast. Um, other firms have sometimes more of a national staffing model whereby people will come together from different offices onto a particular case. And so the advantage of the regional staffing model is you're typically with people from your office, so you get to build those relationships more, and there's typically less travel. The advantage of a more national staffing model, or even international in some cases, uh, like McKinsey, um, is that you have more choice about the kinds of different projects that you get to work on. Um, ask about the promotion principles, how it really works, uh, is it an up or out culture or not. And then another big difference between firms can be the degree of specialization. So you know, at Bain, uh, one year out of business school or two years out of business school, uh, you're typically not attached to any given practice. You are um, working on cases uh, really across any industry. Versus at McKinsey, uh, you will start to affiliate to a practice at that point, and you will pick an industry um, or a function, but more typically an industry that you will be um, that you really want to attach yourself to and be focused on. And so, those two models are very different, and um, you need to think about which one works best for you. If you have a PhD in biology and you want to focus on and want to focus on healthcare, then it might be best to go to a company that either is focused on that or uh, at least uh, has early specialization, so you can choose to specialize in that when you want to. Let me just give a quick side note on the culture of the top three firms. <clears throat> There's, I think, a positive spin and a negative spin to each of these. So McKinsey has the best brand. It's the, been around for the longest. It's the biggest and most successful. Um, and, so, and so the positive spin there is it's basically the one that everyone's heard of and it's the, potentially the highest performing. Uh, Bain was founded much more recently, uh, it has been growing faster, uh, has a reputation for being much more fun. Um, BCG, I think, uh, is sort of in between in terms of how old it is and how and how large. Uh, maybe likes to think of itself as a little more humble. Uh, the negative spin on those is McKinsey people are sometimes viewed as arrogant. Bain is sometimes viewed as sort of more fratish and a big party. Um, BCG sometimes viewed as more academic and the answers are more theoretical. Um, so all of these are stereotypes and clearly they will vary a lot by individual and by office, but um, as much as that's true, there's also a significant grain of truth to all of these, uh, to all of these reputations, and uh, uh, you should, um, you know, you should talk to people who work at these firms and uh, get to know them and understand, uh, understand the culture uh, for yourself.